Hi Barry here, today I'm going to talk to you about the new Canon C500 Mark II. We're extremely excited about this camera. Uh, whilst it might look like a Canon C300 Mark II, it is in fact very small. The body only weighs 1.7 kilos. It has a very clear panel on the side which is accessible with a number of customizable buttons, a 12G 4K SDI output. You've got two different options for extension units, extension unit one and extension unit two, and specifically, we've chosen the extension two box, which has an extra power input, a DTAP power output, a V-lock power clip and lens control. Also really important for us, for a practical camera, it has two additional XLRs. So you end up with four independent XLR audio channels. There is an option for an OLED viewfinder, the EVF V70. It displays in full HD, has zebra mode and false color, and also various menu controls including a joystick which can be used to operate the autofocus system if required. The C500 Mark II can record in XF AVC422 10-bit in either 4K, 2K or HD. It is also capable of shooting cinema raw light on board in 12-bit at a resolution of 5.9K in either 25p or 50p. So you record on board to CF Express cards and these are in the familiar XQD form factor but capable of sustained recording speeds of 1700 megabytes per second. The C500's dual slot allows for simultaneous recording if required. Recording at up to 2.1 gigabits per second, Canon's Cinema Raw Light is an extremely efficient codec. To give an example, a 512 gig codec system will record only 10 minutes of full RAW, whereas the Canon can record 50 minutes into the same sized CF Express card. The C500 Mark II allows you full anamorphic 1.3 times or 2 times de-squeeze. You have a native EF mount or a PL lens mount, and the PL lens mount uh, reads iData. Canon have been well known for their outstanding dual pixel autofocus capability. And you can pull focus with one finger, you can track with face detection and if you've got two people in the screen you can actually pick on which person you want to you want to focus on and uh, you can set up the speed and the duration and because it can track you know trying to focus with full frame is really hard because one of the main operational issues with full frame sensors is just that maintaining focus when used in conjunction with suitable Canon EF lenses the autofocus system is really sophisticated and performs better than any other AF device for motion shooting that we've seen before. And it is worth mentioning that if you do use the OLED EVF, then you can have exactly the same autofocus control, but you'll do that with a joystick and with a button, uh, which is easily uh, accessible. Slow and fast motion has become increasingly important of late, and people are expecting it to be on these cameras. So this camera, whilst it will shoot up to 60p, in 4K will actually uh, shoot up to 120p in 2K. Worth mentioning, it is cropped mode, but it's great that it'll do it within the camera. So to conclude, this is a camera which you can use for cinema applications, documentary, cut down for gimbal work. It'll shoot 5.9K in full frame. It will shoot Super 35, anamorphic de-squeeze. It's small, it's lightweight, it's incredibly easy to use, and the autofocus capability, I think, is gonna make it a real game changer. C500 Mark II, hire it now from VMI.